We are hearing from the man who called 911 after finding a missing Alexandria Dean earlier this week. Investigators say it was a family acquaintance who took 15 year old Jasmine Block from her home in Alexandria on August 8th. According to officer, the man, along with two others, assaulted Block for the next several weeks. Teenager escaped after the three men left her alone in a foreclosed property in rural Grant County. Police say she then swam across a lake to get away. The man who found her said he left work after forgetting something at his farm on Tuesday. And just as he was leaving again, he saw something in the grassland. I noticed something that wasn't supposed to be there. When she came walking out of the grass, I went, oh my gosh, you got to be kidding me. I knew her face and I knew it was her and I, I was more overwhelmed than anything that she was still with us and, and uh, she was okay. Police arrested these three men, Thomas Barker, Joshua Holby, and Stephen Powers, for physically and sexually assaulting the teen. They have not yet been charged. The investigation is ongoing. For the second year in a row, Minnesota's graduating class led all 17 states that administer the ACT test to high school seniors. In results released this morning, they posted an average composite score of 21.5 compared to 21.1 for 2016. Minnesota beat the national average score of 21. 63% met the college readiness benchmark for English, while about 50% hit the reading benchmark, 48% for math, and then for science, it was at 42%. Minnesota's average scores are down from previous years because the state started requiring all juniors to take the ACT in 2015, not just the college bound students. In islands left in the wake of Hurricane Irma are reporting devastating destruction this morning on St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Neighborhoods are underwater. Trees litter some streets. The Prime Minister of Barbuda says that island took a major hit as well. Nearly every building damaged on Barbuda. Ten deaths are being blamed on the storm, which still has sustained winds of 185 miles per hour. In Miami, mandatory evacuations have been ordered for high-risk areas along the coast. Researchers predict parts of Georgia and the Carolinas could be in harm's way as well. A White Bear Lake couple is tying the knot this weekend, and when it comes to guests, the more the merrier. And that's because they hope to fill a huge truck full of snacks for children who may be hungry at school. In their five years together, we Jeff Lopes and Rachel off. Haskins started a charity called Special yeah. Teams and filled trucks with everything from toys to toiletries. This time, they're asking the community to come to their wedding in the park and bring a gift that will help others, or they won't say I do. We feel fortunate every day, literally, when we drive home from work. We Think about how lucky we are and we thought it, it has to be done in the name of charity that's how our families have to unite is by doing something for other people we were lucky enough to fill the couple says they won't get married unless the truck is full by 6 p.m on saturday so for more information on how to donate help these two tie the knot visit wcco.com